Okay, so now I'm just going to explain something, uh, a, re a real small but important detail about the long pole practice in Wing Chun. Um, of course, uh, the long pole is one of the more advanced uh, parts of the Wing Chun training system, and uh, there's a lot of variation, uh, especially among the different students of Great Grandmaster Yip Man, in terms of uh, not even just the form, but also even just how to hold the pole. Um, there's a short video clip which is available online, uh, which actually shows Great Grandmaster Yip Man doing uh, the long pole stab. And uh, you'll notice something very unique about the way he does it. Um, when he holds the pole and when he thrusts it, uh, first of all, the pole grip should only be about as wide as your body. It, it shouldn't be like this except for some special situations. But for the most part, the pole grip is like this. Some different systems use different ways of grabbing it, but in, in the Yip Man long pole system, we use a closed fisted grip like this. Now, when, when the pole is actually darted out uh, in the Biu Guan movement, which is basically the thrusting, uh, attacking movement in the long pole, uh, it's very important important to pay attention to uh, how the grip uh, changes or sorry how the the arms are held when it's thrusted so when the pole is thrusted if you notice my back hand okay I'm exaggerating now I'm opening it but it works like a pendulum here to balance the pole what you don't want to do when you thrust the long pole is twist this one here in the end a lot of Wing Chun people do it because they feel that it gives them more power but the problem is um, when you're practicing the long pole against somebody else if you twist the long pole like this and somebody smacks your pole down it's gonna go through your grip this way here so what's better is to keep the back hand down like this and you can use it like a counterbalance. If you notice my shoulder and my elbow are here low. This is another common error which is to hold the elbow high like this. Here you don't have much power and much structure. When you hold this one down here you can dart the pole out and you have a very stable structure back here which you don't have if your elbow is up and you don't have if you twist it like this. And if you look at the video clip of Great Grandmaster Yip Man when he does the long pole thrust you'll see that he actually holds the grip this way. He does not twist it this way which you see a lot of people do. So that's just a small tip for the Wing Chun long pole.